They traveled all, the, so the people in, in Chihuahua traveled with the Hopi runners, and they went all the way to Mexico City, and the ritual said that they had to take the water, this gourd full of water, to the statue, this huge stone monolith of Tlaloc, the, um, the Aztec or Nahuatl god of rain. And so, so they got to Mexico City, and then, and this is the part of the story where my friends in Chihuahua said, and you know how polluted Mexico City is, and you know how, how big the city is, it is, oh, downtown, it's very polluted. So there they were, outside the Museum of Anthropology in downtown Mexico City, these Hopi runners who had come, taken weeks and weeks to come all that way, and along the way, getting the, getting these little bits of water and probably praying or doing something, who knows, probably something special each time they got the water into their gourd. And here they were outside the Museum of Anthropology in downtown Mexico City. And the Hopi medicine man poured some of the water on Tlaloc. And then, of course, the rest of it they put in this, these two little polluted creeks that were nearby. But at the moment, they were pouring, the medicine man was pouring the water out in, um, to Tlaloc, the, the, the rain god, an eagle came out of nowhere and circled around and screamed. And, and the guys from Chihuahua were saying, how can an eagle even be in Mexico City where the air is so polluted? But of course, the, the Hopis have a, a videographer, a Hopi, uh, Victor Masayasva, who's a a, a, a video maker, and he was with them, and they say they have all of this on videotape. I've not seen it. So the people in Chihuahua were very impressed that the Hopis would come all this way, and when they poured the water, the eagle would come. But that was in March, and then by June, the rain started to come, and the rain came, and even in Tucson, in six weeks, we got eight inches. That's about as much rain. We get about nine inches a year. And in El Paso and in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, they got flooded. And if you look at the weather maps and the way that the rain came in, it comes in off the Pacific and then it comes up and it goes right up over Mexico City and it followed the ritual path that the Hopis had taken. And then this winter, as you might be, may or may not be aware, we've had heavy, heavy snowfall in Albuquerque um, the snow that they hadn't had in years. In Tucson, we had snow. In Phoenix, we had snow. And so for anyone who thinks that because of the war, chaos, pollution, global warming, corruption of politicians, whatever you want to think about, you can't let that get to you or, or it, it doesn't interfere with that other plane of that power that was invoked on the Hopi run. So I, I tell that story just as a, a story. And even in Mexico City, the most polluted, the largest city in the world, but also one of the most polluted places, at that moment, the medicine man poured the water. The eagle came. So, so that's what you have to remember, is that the world isn't the way, thank goodness, it isn't quite as simple or horrible as, as it appears when you look at it in the newspaper or, or on the television. It's much more complex. And the power of the earth in the Americas and the spiritual power, not just of Hopi traditionalists, but anyone who loves the earth, um, you know, that's not dissipated and that's not, it, it, it's, it's not weakened. It, it prevails, it remains.